Bata is characterized by the qualities cold, mobility, lightness, and expansiveness. If you have a Vata constitution or a Vata imbalance, you can customize your yoga practice to encourage the opposite qualities that naturally bring Vata back into balance. By adding the qualities of warmth, stability, grounding, and focus to your practice, you can reestablish your natural state of health and well-being. Set the intention as you begin your practice to be focused on the present moment. Increase the inhalation. The inhalation warms, builds, and nourishes vata. A long exhalation cools the body and can disperse energy, depleting vata. Establish an even inhalation and exhalation. From that balance of the breath, extend the length of time it takes to inhale. Then, increase the depth of the breath by inviting it to reach below the navel. This promotes grounding. Vata is efficiently pacified in yoga through stability. To invite stability, work with grounding the feet and hands in any posture where they touch the earth. Wobbly hands and feet contribute to feelings of being destabilized. In standing poses, use the ball mounds of the toes, especially the big toe mound, to create a connection to the earth and ground the body at its foundation. In downward dog, root the hands through the mounds of the thumb and index fingers. Keep the gaze level to or below the horizon to promote stability and grounding. An upward gaze creates intensity, lightness, and expansiveness, all qualities that uproot vata. In all postures, take the eyes slightly downwards toward the earth to help ground the body and mind. Fixate the gaze at an unwavering point to enhance stability. Favor a pace that is slow, fluid, gentle, and even. This tempo soothes vata by encouraging internal fluidity. It also assists with maintaining inner focus. Quick movement imbalances vata and contributes to a racing mind. Move at a tempo that resembles wading through warm water. In a flow, pause in each posture for one deep, complete inhalation and exhalation. Hold each posture for a short length of time. Long holds require more strength and can deplete vata. Stay in the posture for a short hold. Honor the energy available to you while being mindful to not borrow from your reserves. In flows, make gentle, slow, and fluid transitions between postures to protect the joints, to encourage connection to the body, and to remain present. Quick erratic movement creates dryness, revs up the mobile quality, disconnects mind from body, and adds to instability. Jumping back and forward increases mobility. Using a slow pace to maintain connection to the body, synchronize movement and breath in order to gently transition from one posture to the next. Fill the empty space of the transition with your present, breath-focused awareness. The ideal outcome of a vata pacifying yoga practice is one of feeling warm, stable, grounded, and present. Experiencing the feeling of being nurtured, supported, and strong are key signs that vata is coming back into balance.